Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Lewis and above me is Jordan. Today we're going to be taking a look at our sort of uh, review of the first five games that we've played. Um, obviously prior to the international break because uh, City is it's back, you know what I mean? This weekend we got Arsenal so we thought we'd have a look at the first period. Let's see what's going on here. Um, so if you do like what you're watching, hit that like button for us, just helps other City fans find the channel. Smash the subscribe button if you are new here and uh, hit the notification bell as well for daily Manchester City video alerts. Okay, so first game away, Wolves, right? That's a tricky game. Yeah. I was like, mm. obviously they've got no fans, that's going to make these sort of games a little bit easier, but it's still going to be a difficult Wolves game. Wolves are still a good side, so you're still going to get, they still have the ability to make you. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and you know, going there, like you say, they've got good players, they've got a good manager. Now, one thing I would say is, can we just calm down a little bit on the old, you know, Wolves are min, you know, watch the football. I've watched quite a lot of Wolves games now, and I've got to say, I find some of the football very, very dull. You know, this manager's a good manager, but he reminds me very much of the Mourinho and of the Simeone type, you know, where they're just very... I wouldn't say he's not a negative in, in terms of like a Mourinho on the Simeone negative, but he doesn't play attractive free flowing football from what I've seen. You know what I mean? He, he sits there, he's regimented, and he tries to play his style, but. A win's a win situation, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, he's not, he's not an you entertaining, it. you know what I mean? It, you know, we, we'll probably end up doing a, a video at some point of, of, you know, possible managers that can replace Pep, and he will not be on the list because I don't want to be watching football where this, I'm watching City and it's boring. You know what I mean? That's the last thing that we want to see. Anyway, sorry, that was a bit of a rant um, and not part of the video. But yeah, so we went to Wolves, started there. I've got to say, very, very impressed. Um, we started with the um, the old two in midfield uh, with uh, Fernandinho and, and Rodri. I really, really like that. Now, Yeah, I really like that. I've been, me personally, I will let you speak in a minute, bro. But I will, <laughs> I just, I've just got a lot to say about these sort of things, right? and, and especially this game. I was a little bit critical of Fernandinho going back into the midfield. Not because he's, he's, I don't like him there, because he's mint. You know, he's, he's one of the best centre mids in world football. My problem is, is he's 35 years old, or maybe even 36, I'm not sure. How long can he do that? He can't be a long-term option. And at any point during the season, he could just he could just go, guys. You know what I mean? I, I'm a firm believer of uh, your time is your time. You know what I mean? And I don't like it when people say, Oh, the legs just don't go overnight. Well, I've seen it before where players have literally just gone from world beaters to absolutely, you know, dog, you know, very, very quickly. And it's because at some point your, your body just gives up. It can't recover fast enough. So that's my only concern is that if we keep playing Fernandinho there, whilst, you know, that that, re that look really, really nice, I'm concerned that at some point in the season it's just going to go, um no, nah, I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that yeah. completely. Let me talk. Let me talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> let me talk. <laughs> Do you that? That was a yeah. weird video, that, wasn't it? I was, I, was so, I was so shocked by Kevin De Bruyne's voice in that video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's crying his eyes out, wasn't it? Um, yeah, I'm with you on that. The whole Fernandinho situation being in midfield. How long can you do it for? When's this guy going to... I mean, when do you break the camel's back? Is that what it's called? Is that, is that, is that a saying? I don't know. Anyway, we'll go for it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll run with that. Um... The straw that brought the camels back. Yes, I got it. I got it. I got a saying right. I got a saying right. The straw that brought the camels back. Yes. Right. Okay. Tip, tip that one off. We've used it. Um, right. So I just feel like, like you say, at some point it, it'll it'll go. So we need to explore our other options now whilst he's still there, so that when it does eventually happen, we have someone who can step in because we know that the Rodri Gundogan situation. Both very similar players, and I feel like they cancel each other out, which is why I liked Fernandinho playing there. Mm. I was shocked to see him play there, and I was like... I was shocked. But it offered something different that I just... It made me realise what we've been missing and how good Fernandinho actually is as a centre defensive mid. Seeing him play a year at centre-back was just... It was wasted talent. It was 100% wasted talent, because when he came into that centre defensive mid role against Wolves, I was like, this guy's sick. This guy is yeah. sick. No, I agree. I agree. He was. Uh, he, he played really, really well. We won the game three one. Obviously, a great result. There was still issues, though, guys. How we actually won the game, I don't oh know. If God. you look all oh back God. and look at the chances that Wolves had, that Raúl Jiménez, who's touted as like a, a a mint striker, again he missed sitter after sitter after sitter. We really. I mean, obviously it's, it's three one, but that flattered us. You know, the last goal that we scored was in the ninety fifth minute. Realistically, guys, we were lucky. If we got a point, we would have been lucky. If we got all three points, you know, 
the chan- got- honestly, like when we say chances, if you didn't see it, we're talking like three or four chances in the six. I know. Not being negative here. Watch the chances back if you, <laughs> if, you, if you if you didn't see it or you can't remember. They are they are chance after chance. We were very lucky to get out of there alive with the three points, but we did. We got it. Happy days. We then had the Carabao, uh, Bournemouth. Won't speak too much about this game other than saying Liam Dillat played and he played absolutely fantastically well. Um, and obviously that, that pushed us. We got the 2-1 win and that pushed us into the next round. And, you know, a Carabao Cup, you know, it's just a trophy at the end of the day, guys. And I've seen some people say, should we sack it off? And I've considered it and I might have even said it at some points, but nah, you know what I mean? It's a trophy. We fight on all four fronts. That's what makes us different to everyone else. Yeah. People play, like teams like Liverpool, like, they were willing, willing to just like, you know, bun off trophies rapid. Whereas with us, we're going for every single trophy, every mm. single time. And sure, that does hinder us our performance sometimes because congested fixtures and that, but... I'm all for fight on all four fronts. Let's go get it all in it. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Right, coming off that, two, you know, two games, two wins. It's all going smoothly. Nice. And it's then good what times. happens? Boom! Leicester and the Jamie Vardy party arrives in Manchester, and we get absolutely done. We get yeah. absolutely ripped. We got absolutely smashed by um, and even James Madison came on and scored a world. It's got goal of the month actually. Um, everyone gets goal of the month again against yeah. us yeah Just it's thing, always it? us um, and to be fair it was a worldie it was a worldie goal um, it, that was just a terrible game um, after seeing how good Liam Delap looks I know people slate us for saying yeah he's only 17 and that but I just thought he would have played I, thought, I, mean, I know he did come on at some point but mm. in fact he came on and got one of our yeah, only chances. Yeah, he had, he had literally nothing to feed off when he come on. And the one chance he did, it was a, just a random ball into the box and the guy got his head on it and, and he hit the bar. Um, we got absolutely roasted. Defence, we give three penalties away. Walker was crap. Uh, Eric Garcia was crap. Just everyone generally was a bit crap in that game, which was a bit, <laughs> which was a bit of a shame. Um, and again, we didn't play with a striker, which makes Kevin De Bruyne redundant because when he's running with the ball at their defence, he's got absolutely nowhere to, to give the ball to he's got his creativity he's ruined uh, Mares he's ruined because he's got no one to cross the ball into well everyone knows what he's going to do anyway with no striker he's, he's literally limited Sterling's not a striker so he was probably rubbish um, obviously I'm racking my mind but, but basically massive errors there and, and the blame on that is yes the defence was crap but also Pep in my opinion got it got it wrong yeah and we've on that so off after the disappointing Game against Leicester in the Prem, suffering our first loss so soon. Uh, we went against Burnley in the Carabao again. It's so so mad the fixture congestion. It's like it's so quick these games coming through, uh, and we ended up beating Burnley three 0 um, You know what? I can't actually remember that much of Burnley. Yeah, um, I can remember a few few things about it. Um, so he went again with Sterling up top. This was a bad 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 move because I, I remember oh, he yeah, got he got yeah. the two goals right. And everyone was sort of saying, right, before the game, everyone was like, you know, we want, we want Liam, Liam Delap to play. He didn't play. He started Sterling. Sterling got the two goals, right? This is Carabao Cup, by the way, so, you know, it's not it's not a Prem game. He got two goals, and but he missed chance after chance yeah. after chance after chance. Again, I'm not having a go at Sterling because it's not his fault. It's not a striker. But I said straight away, I said it on the live stream, I said, he will now start at the weekend against Leeds. And the reason he'll start is because he scored two goals, right? Everyone forgets that he missed five easy chances. He missed open net. I remember one, Ferran Torres, right-hand side, ball into the oh, box. Oh, I was meant All he has to do is tap it in. He, doesn't, he, he can't, he don't even, I don't know what happened. His brain he just can't shut down, like, coordinate it? with his feet fast yeah. enough to Control just Control out the and then he was just yeah, like... Yeah, end bros, isn't it? Yeah, it even, but this is the problem. He got the two goals and I said, that's, that's bad because now he's going to start against Leeds. Uh, if we skip straight to Leeds... That's what happened, and we had absolute our attacking threat in that game was absolutely atrocious. You know what I mean? It was non-existent. Leeds weren't even that good. You know what I mean? We've got Leeds fans coming on our on our on our review program, on our review show, saying, "Oh, you didn't give us no credit. You didn't actually do anything." You know what I mean? Your goal came off a mistake from ourselves. The only chances you had is the goal, which was our mistake, and um, the one right before half time where Mendy gives the ball away, and you should have really scored. Two two chance they, they had, didn't really have any more, many more chances than that they were a poor so I actually thought they were worse than the, you know I thought it was going to be a good game and thought they were going to attack us but they, they weren't that great to be honest but again 
going forward, we were absolutely just useless because we didn't have a striker. It was literally just the attacking play in that game from, from our side of things and not focusing on Lee's side of things. It, it was just bad. Yeah. It was just terrible. And what a way to end our our little first period off. And I think the international break has probably come at a good time so we can kind of have a, a reset. Um, at the and there's many, many people are throwing a lot of things in. A lot of people are on the Pep out agenda. A lot of people are saying that is are the players stopping playing for Pep now. Do you know what I mean? And then there's, there's, there's so many rumours getting hurdled about there. Uh, our, our first game back is against Arsenal, which is this Saturday. And hopefully we can come up with a bang because Arsenal have started the season really well. And, uh, you know what I mean? They look the the... Like I can score a few goals against you, and we know what they did against us in the semi-finals of the was it the FA Cup? Yeah, yeah. What well, I say is all right. There's some people that frustrate me. I see on social media people saying, "Oh, why are why are City fans like these are City fans? Why why are City fans flapping? It's only, we're only a couple of games into the season." Well, I will tell you why I'm having a little bit of a panic. Right? No, I'm not I'm not, I'm not having a flap. But people say, oh, it's only two games in the season. At what point do you start to panic about the the, the, the season? Because Cause you can keep saying, oh, it's only two games. We've already lost, right? You've already lost one game against Leicester, not a top four side. You've dropped points against Leeds. We should have beat them. We've got we've now got Arsenal. And as you said, they've had a great start to the season. So if we get beat off Arsenal or drop points of Arsenal, are, are you then going to start to say, oh, yeah, it's not been a great start? Are you still going to be saying, it's only October, it's only October? You've got to remember, guys... The Liverpool side that we're up against, granted they had an absolutely terrible time against Villa, they're a great side, yeah? And if you respect them properly, you'll realise that we've got very, very limited points that we're able to drop. And I'm just thinking, these two games we've already dropped points are aren't even against decent sides. Like, Leicester are a good side, okay, that's not fair. But, you know, we're at home, we know, we know how Leicester score goals against us, and it just poor. Leeds, you know, we should have beat them, that's Pep's fault because he didn't play a striker. I just feel like at some point, if it keeps on going the way it's going, people are just going to have to stop saying, oh, it's only October, it's only September, it's only November, and go, yeah, we're having a bit of a shit season or a bit of a shit start here, you know what I mean? I th- let, me, let me ask you a question then, before before we end. Rate rate this, this period out of 10. Oh, man. Out of 10, what would you give this start? And, and, and comment down below, what's your, out of 10, these five games, how would you rate City's start to the season out of 10? Um... Four out of ten. Jeez, I'm just going to run and I'm going to go. Okay, four out of ten. So that, that's... I'm giving it a four out of ten on the basis. It's a very low score, right? But we've already dropped point. We've already dropped four points. Already, I don't care about everyone else. In my brain, I was looking at the fixture list, thinking, yeah, we should be coming away from this first period in this international break without dropping points. Mm. It shouldn't. We shouldn't. We shouldn't have already lost a game. I get that. Yeah, oh, Liverpool have already lost on that, but it's just not great. It's just not a great start. And I could be being a bit harsh, but I'm giving it a four, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, because because I have been like more angry in this video than you, but I, I think four like that is low. Like, <laughs> you were really like, oh, boy. because we're still in the we're still in the Carabao. Yeah, right? yeah, that, that's decent. That is decent. Which we're happy about. Yeah, we won one, draw one, lost one. That ain't great. I give that like a five point five with the added boost of the Carabao still being. I give that a six. Yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, I feel like I've been actually roasting yeah, the start of the season. Yeah, I'm giving it a six, it. but um, I'm giving it a six because we're still in the Carabao and it's not a great start. But I'm still back in the side, and I think. I think oh no! I yeah, do yeah. Don't get confused, innit? I'm, I don't, I'm not like all oh, against this city team and thinking that we're not gonna have a good season. Jordan Although we're still winning. Jordan's pep out. Yeah, like him, like him. <laughs> don't, don't. I'm not pep out. Just to say, and if you call, if you pep out in the comments, I deleted it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there are our ratings. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Out of ten, what would you give the start to the season so far? Uh, hit the like button if you have enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. See you later. <laughs>